Tanya Tonello is here to bring life back to thrifted handbags, which is a lot of fun. What do we need to be looking for when we're going to a thrift shop to buy a handbag? Yes, so exactly. We don't need to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars, mm. right? We could get it get these pieces for super affordable prices. So when we're thrifting and looking for bags, a couple of things that we should look for uh -huh. is the overall quality of the bag. Mm -hmm. So as long as it's in great shape, then we can alter that. So I kind of look at them almost like a blank canvas. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what can I add? What can I remove? It's not going to stay as is. Exactly. Okay, so you're looking for good bones. That's right. Right? Like you go and buy anything else that's thrift. You were looking at the legs and the structure and is it great? Um, okay, so let's talk about you picking up some finds that you found had good bones. Yes. And making some fixes on them, starting with that clutch over there. Which sure. Is, which could be a very nice clutch. Yes. So it definitely, it, it has the potential, it has the bones that we talked about. Yeah. But I was a little, um, I don't want to I was a little put off by the rosette. I, I found it. I was distracted by that humongous <laughs> rosette in the middle of the clutch. <laughs> Just a little. Very 90s prom. Yes. Which can be a thing, but I didn't want to do that for the look that I was going for. Got it. So here's the thing, Tracy. You know what? With this one, I realized that it was just glued on. Yeah. And so with very little effort, of course, I've taken it off before now, but I just, I was able to pull it off. Easy. And then now we have, like, a, quite a nice clutch to work with here. Mm hmm But there was some remnants of glue left from the rosette. Mm. And also, this isn't the cleanest looking either. Right. So a quick fix for that is I just took a brooch, which has some nice bling and hardware on it, Cute. and then I could pin that there. And now that looks like very much of an elevated looking formal clutch. That looks so good. And also it's no so. And you just had to pin it on, which couldn't be any easier. So that's excellent. Totally. Yeah. I'm all about the no so. Yeah. Very much so. Okay. okay. Let's talk about ha uh, the handles. Because I think a lot of times you get a good bag and you're looking at the handle and you're sort of like, that does not work for me. Exactly. So that was the case with this one. Mm -hmm. So love this mini handbag look. Cute. We're seeing that a lot. It's in great shape. But this was... A little, a little sad looking. Yeah, just keep holding that up <laughs> for us because I think a lot of viewers will understand when you get that, you get that strap and it's not even falling the way it should fall. Like it's going to be crinkly all around your shoulder. You're like, eh. Not a good look. No. Exactly. So I didn't let that stop me. I was like, okay, I could just remove this. I can fix this. Exactly. So a lot of bags, Tracy, will have these chain links mm -hmm. here. And what's great about them is that they actually have a little, try to see if I can hold this up here, a little break. An opening. A yeah. little opening there. So actually, it's just a matter of finding that break and that opening in the chain link. Mm -hmm. And at first I was using tweezers. Yeah. And then I, I became a little bit more advanced and I purchased pliers. Look at you, you pro. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Tanya, the tool woman, Tanello. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you know what? With a little bit of, of back into it, you'll right. get it off no problem. Okay. And then, so that's removing it, but then actually, to add um, an element to it, we can do a little something like this one here. Oh, that's cute. And so we can actually add these two and then do a little bit of that in the front, depending oh, on how cute. long you want it to be. Yeah, very nice. So you can add your own embellishment, your own chain detail there, or you can just take the whole thing off. Exactly. And then you're left with this gorgeous little mini bag, which we know like is super hot right now. Right, totally. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so once again, talking about handles, you've got a, a couple of other ones, but this with the straw bags, which we're seeing everywhere, is super hot right now. Yeah, so spring, summer, this is, you know, all the trend right now. Mm -hmm. So this one I found, it was six ninety nine. Good. Right? Um, but again, we have a little bit of a situation with yeah. the handle, with the strap here. Yeah. So no worries, you know, it's, it's really easy. Uh, I'm just going to cut that off. So instead of this sad strap, yeah. I thought, okay, well, we can use some fun fabric to replace the strap. So I actually got a pack of these online. I think, you know, there were eight of them for $16.99 or something. Cool. A lot of fun different prints and patterns. Yeah. And then I could just do a knot there mm -hmm. and then attach it on that side. And what I'm doing, Tracy, is I'm just weaving it through the fabric of the bag. So whether it's raffia or this one's crochet. And so you just use that to loop it through. Very cool and very chic. And I mean, even if you're getting, uh, like there's a brand that I buy, like I'll buy pajamas and robes from them. 
and you can get like a matching band with the outfit you're wearing and put that on your purse and make everyone think that you got it like that. Yes, when exactly. Really you just DIY the whole thing because everyone's doing matchy match from head to toe. That's, so that's right. amazing. Yeah, no, good point. And, and then this one as well. With the crocheted one. So this one, I'm not going to adjust the bag. I'm not taking off straps. I'm not getting crazy here. Okay. But what I'm going to do is now I've added, so you can see I've looped it through the crochet mm -hmm. here. And now I'm just going to be adding this as a bow. So just to give a little something cute. fun, like you said, and cute to it, an extra element. So there we go. So really, Lovely. the takeaway from all of these is when we're looking at bags and thrifting bags, we're looking for the potential. Yeah. Okay, so unlike me with dating, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really, um, yeah, trying to change that person, right. but with bags, <laughs> but with bags, I can, can I can, bag. I can add or remove, and it's oh, going to be great. Good. I like yeah. that. These lessons are all landing in the right sections of your life. I love Thank it. Thank you. So crafty and stuff.